Hey, hello, howdy, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of They Know, where every zombie within 150 tiles is pinged to my location every 10 in-game minutes. So far, we've survived the randomized spawn, looted the military surplus store, raided Riverside, making off with their entire police station armory along with their prize collection of Space Truckers VHS tapes. Today we're going to hit up Ekron to loot their bookstore and police station, as well as Rosewood's prison to secure their armory. It may sound like overkill, but we'll need all of the guns and ammo we can get our hands on for future plans. With that being said, let's get into it. Equipped with an Uzi and some hammers, I set off for Ekron on the morning of July 24th, reaching the bookstore at around 8 in the morning. Trying to move quickly, I sprinted inside and immediately began searching each bookcase for a generator magazine. Unfortunately, this game hates me, and it wasn't here either. I ran out of time before being able to loot any actual books. At this point, hundreds of zombies were already accumulating in the area, so I changed focus to the police station. There's only one weapon locker here, so looting was pretty easy. That being said, there's only a few pistols and some ammo, which was kind of a letdown. At this point, I made one last attempt to hit up the bookstore and was able to grab volumes 2 through 5 for carpentry. With zombies surrounding my van, I figured now was a good time to hit up some of the other buildings such as the farming supply store. While looting, I did manage to find a machete, but ran out of time after the zombies broke through the door and subsequent windows, forcing me to retreat out the back. I managed to group up a few hundred or so and move them to the east, allowing me to circle back to scoop up the machete before heading back to the van. The drive down to Rosewood was pretty simple since I got to take the back roads. That was until I reached Blackwood. If you don't know, Blackwood is one of the most tightly compacted modded cities in Project Zomboid. It's impossible to maneuver a vehicle through it without a sledgehammer. Having to figure out a way around this, I took the van off-road and hoped for the best. Made it to the Rosewood School early that afternoon and booked it straight for the library. It only took like six different locations, but I finally found a generator mag. I didn't waste much time looting the rest of the school though and looped around to the van with my sights set on the prison. I made it there at around 4pm and got to work clearing the area, which was a massive undertaking. My main plan was to pull all of the zombies to the northeast side of the parking lot.
This gave me enough time to run to the armory and begin grabbing any boxes of 9mm ammo that I can get my hands on. Unfortunately, it didn't take long for the zombies to make their way upstairs, causing me to trip harder than that lady from those fruity bar commercials. <laughs> Scraping my leg in the process. Fleeing to the second floor, I ripped up a shirt to use as bandages before taking out a machete to fight off the zombies who'd broken through. Completely overrun, I had no choice but to jump off the roof, landing on a zombie and scratching my arm in the process. Behind the prison fencing, the only way out for me is to either go through the tight corridors or loop all the way around to the exterior fencing. If I go inside, I have a smaller chance of surviving than Leroy Jenkins. If the situation wasn't bad enough already, I also destroyed my boots in the process, so as I made my way around to the fencing, I just continued scratching my feet, causing me to move significantly slower. I was able to make it back to my vehicle late that evening, somehow still half alive. There was a part of me that wanted to hang around and take another shot at looting the armory, but the logical side of me chose life this time around. I made it back to base around mid-morning the following day. With all the carpentry books in my arsenal, I figured now would be a great time to start working on my base some more, especially now that I have a generator magazine. I spent all of today reading Carpentry Volume 2 to get that out of the way. The next morning, I spent most of the day reading Farming Volume 1 before planting a ton of potatoes and cabbages with the seeds I looted from Ekron. Moving on to the actual building, I placed 8 crates in the western side of the warehouse. Along with those, I built a chair outside to rest on while working and a composter near the garden. The rest of the day was spent moving all of my loot inside and organizing the crates. This went on for a few days, so I'll just give you the spark notes. On the 28th, I hit carpentry level 4 while sawing logs, and ran out of nails the following day while I was building an interior wall. After waking up the next morning, I took a trip back to the warehouses to find some nails. The big holdup here was that a ton of zombies had wandered over since I haven't been here in like a week or so. I was able to grab a couple boxes of nails before the zombies had piled up, so I changed focus to deal with them. I tried to keep swapping weapons to prevent it from getting too stale using a combat knife, some hammers, and a rune skimmy to dish out some damage. Whenever I became exerted, I would just pull the zombies to the south before running over to the van next to the gas station.
After repeating the same process for several hours, it became obvious that I wasn't going to be clearing the area anytime soon. Following the trend of today's episode, I'm just not willing to risk dying over a looted warehouse, so I retreated back to base for the night with the main goal achieved, having gathered four boxes of nails. While driving back, I ran through a wandering pack of homeless people, which led to me bobbing and weaving my way directly into a tree Tiger Woods style. Forced to proceed on foot, I made it back to base late that evening. I think we'll wrap up here for now though. It's been a little over 20 days and we've racked up a solid 1400 kills so far. Skill wise, it's about what I was expecting, with aiming and reloading slowly trending upwards. I'd like to make some progress on skills like first aid, tailoring, and carpentry, but those will all come in time once our base is a little more established. A very big thank you to all my YouTube members and Patreon supporters who helped make it possible for me to make content for you all. I appreciate you all, and as always, thanks for stopping by.